up, everybody? Um, just giving you a quick update. I didn't get to take a whole lot of video from Tehachapi, but I just got back from Tehachapi. Um, I, you know, those few driving videos. Um, so I got back and I did get a video of him sanding it and kind of like a cool slow mo of, uh, you know, him doing a carbon fiber thing. Um, you know, just the gloss on the carbon fiber. I'll show that. <laughs> It's good stuff. Um, it's really cool. There's a couple little nicks and dings here and there, but it's under the engine and it's just sucking cold air. So that's what I want. That's all it needs to do. It's doing its job fantastically. So um, how is it driving? It's driving really, really, really well. Um, for not having a retune, I am extremely surprised with how well it's driving, to be honest. Um, I really think it needs a retune. It, it could definitely use one. But I was getting some unheard of numbers on gas mileage that I just haven't heard of, you know, <laughs> 373 um, S197 Mustang, or at least my car, I don't know. I've always gotten about 19 highway, so this was, this was really cool to get um, 25 to 27 again at 75 miles an hour. I mean, I was... I'm thrilled. I mean, I think it's awesome that I don't have to go to 331 gears. Car pulls fantastically. The torque curve on my car is fantastic. It's very linear. It's very, um, through the power band, it's, it's all the way there. And it's really pronounced in the mid-range, but I notice on the low end, it actually doesn't take a downshift to get up a hill. And the other thing I've noticed is that uh, I live in a valley, actually, so my elevation is pretty low, and I do get that nice, dense air, but I notice that it doesn't really care if there's a hill or not anymore, as to where before, I actually noticed I had to put my foot into it a little bit more to get up a hill. Uh, now, it doesn't really care if there's a hill there or not, uh, it just goes right up, so that's one of the really cool things I've noticed, as well as the gas mileage. Um, it's, it's a really good idea, so I'm going to show you guys now. This is the new cold air intake. These are just brackets to hold the filter in place. Although it really doesn't need it anymore because this pipe holds it in place more together. But that is not what I'm talking about here. This is a custom cold air intake and it is not um, easily buyable. So I'm not entirely sure if you're going to need to buy an S550 cold air intake. You just have to be a little bit innovative with how you set up your existing cold air intake. So this manifold is sitting absolutely beautifully. It's got tons of room with the strut bar compared to the other strut bar, or the other manifold, I'm sorry, with the strut bar. Just hardly fit, um, hardly any room at all, and uh, yeah. It's time for some battle arts. Mm -hmm. 